Alright everyone, this is your partner speaking, welcome to the DAC Network, and today we are back with another Let's Play on Red Dead Redemption 2 Star Mode. We are now on part 46. So last time we helped out um, Eagle Flies and Dutch to fight against the U.S. Army, and we also helped out um, Obadiah to, to investigate the mine. And also we helped, we met a couple of circus freaks, which we helped to reunite by finding their missing member. And I believe that's it. So, so here we are in in the East Grizzlies. We're about to meet another stranger. So, furthermore, enough of talking. Let's get straight to the gameplay, shall we? Let's see who it is. Hey, you there? Can you help me, Mister? What's the problem? My goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. Alright, let's search nearby for Buell. That guy right there is Hamish. He is a, a former uh, Civil War veteran, if I'm correct. I'm not too sure here, but he, he's one of, the, one of the best um strangers in the game. Something about him just so good about him. So, there's his horse. So, let's encounter it. There he is. Alright, let's encounter the horse. Calm and leave Buell. That's a nice looking, that's like cream colored horse. I like the, the look of it. Where is he though? What kind of breed is he? A Dutch warm blood. I'm surprised we don't have that horse in Red Dead Online. Oh, Kremlio. Alright, let's calm the guy. There. Easy. Easy does it, eh? You better calm you down. Easy. Alright, let's get this horse. Let's get the horse. Okay, we're, it's calm. Oh my god, it's a nice looking horse though. That is, a, I like, the, I like his blue eyes. Let's lead him. All right, we turn Buell to the veteran. Well, come on, Dan. Let's get you back. I'm surprised you don't get this horse in Red Dead Online. See, this the story mode has way more horses than the than online itself. That's a shame, man. Freaking Rockstar. Just where you left him. Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. So you better be good, you hear? I wow. The notion he's not a man you want to cross. It's true. No matter how big and strong you are. Oh, my horse is in the way. I like the color of this horse, man. Rockstar, put this horse through Red Dead Online. Shoot, put it behind the Outlaw Pass. I wouldn't mind. I would pay a good amount of gold for it. Okay, I wish I could ride it and deliver it to him, but I don't think he's going to work that way. So, you have there. We're almost there to Hamish. I wonder when he tells us that his name is Hamish. I think after this, if I'm correct. So... This mission is very simple. All you gotta do is get his horse back, and that's it. We ain't far now. Nothing gonna spook you here. Come on, you're not so nasty. I wanna keep that horse. I'll probably sell all my horses. I found him. You're a good man, Mister. Mister. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse, aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you want to hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> War him but a snake that spooked him. <clears throat> you're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. 
pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. A young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish. Enjoy the outside. I weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great, so between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's run there. Thanks again. You throw me again, you old dumb bastard, I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. So, yeah. That... It's Hamish, and it's the same Hamish for Red Dead Online. We do missions for him. Basically, he's a stranger on that on that um, online mode. So he has two more missions, if I'm correct, because I remember doing them as John. So let's go ahead and um, start the next stranger mission. All right, then. So here we are in Rona Ridge. We're about to investigate the mine for uh, Obadiah Hinton. So let's check it out. Cause I never been. To, I think it takes us to that big mine in the um. Where'd you where you where you can you say it? near the um. Oh my God! What's it called? Um, this this area here, the same area, Eurasian pool. There you go. That's what I was trying to say. I never find the main entrance to that. I have to come back here for Red Dot Online. So yep, the abandoned mine. Okay, what I do? Destroy. Let's throw some dynamite. I think this may work. Why can't I have my weapons out? Okay, we gotta find a way to get to the mine. But how do we get in there, though? Wait, what's going on? I lost control. What the hell? Okay, guys, I guess I might have to figure this is out because I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm losing control of Arthur right now. Uh, this is a dig. Oh, there you go. That was weird. All right, let's pull. Now we're going inside the mine. Why is my lasso acting so weird for some reason? We got a ladder on. Search them up for clues about the curse. Oh my god. I hate the sound of mines to be honest. <coughs> Alright, let's see if there's anything here. Nothing. I never been to this side of mine. It's been a long time since I remember this mine. But I think this where things go crazy. If I'm correct. Let's take out a gun. Oh, wait, I can't take it out for some reason. That's weird. All right, I think we gotta go all the way down here. What the hell? A rear reflection. All right, well, I don't see anything. What is this? Search the mine for clues about the curse. Yeah, it looks cursed, all right. Yeah. Who's there? I see you over there. The game's up. There's poison in this mine. Whoa! Oh my god, that legit scared me. God damn you. Who was that? Here. Okay, we gotta go through here now. Escape the mine. The fumes are choking you. Follow the stream out of the cave before you suffocate. Oh my god, someone died here? 
Damn, I wish I had my other hat on. Who's this? Run off head. Huh? Alright, we gotta get out of here. Is there anything this other side? Uh, I don't think so. Oh my god, we gotta hurry up. Alright, uh, we're good now. I think we made it out now. Yes, yeah, so this cave. This is the biggest cave in the game. The second one's like in west of West Elizabeth in Big Valley. I think we're good now. Yeah, good thing I know the layout of this mine. Just the the beginning, the, the big beginning portion of the mine. I was not too familiar with it. And also, um, this mine contains a lot of secrets. Depends on base. Uh, it depends on what activity you do. You know, one's a treasure ma treasure hunt, and the other one's for the um. Huh, batches fell off. Oh, and for the, um, what they're called, um, dream catchers. Hey, shoot. Shoot, get out of here. It ain't safe. Return to Butcher's Creek. So it turns out that the, the curse is not real. It's basically, um, the mine's actually affected with poisonous waters. And who he thinks responsible for that? You probably probably know who it is. So, anyways, let's go to Butcher's Creek. All right, then. So here we are back at Butcher's Creek. Let's go find Obadiah. Which was this house again? It's over here. There he is. I told you I would save you. Yes. Said I would lead you out of the darkness. Yes, show us the light. I shall. I shall. But first, you have to mark your signs on this paper. It's a powerful magic that will protect you on your journey. Uh, I, I, I hereby will release, will absolve, and, and, and indemnify the aforementioned Roanoke Fuel Company. Stop reading. Mm -hmm. You didn't tell me you could read? What kind of trick you pulling now? Oh, you're back. We thought the curse had got you. Nope, but he nearly did. Don't you go nowhere. I was down that old dig, and I found this leaking all the way into the lake. You've been poisoned. No, no, no. We, we were warned not to heed what you That's say. Right. Well, let him tell you then. What's this? It's nothing. Nothing? Oh, then you won't mind taking oh, a drink. Hey, no. hey, hey, no. hey, no. hey, 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 No, no, no. Oh, you've killed me. I'm poisoned. Poison now, is it? Uh, oh, the dig. All he found was arsenic and lead. I dug down into the cave system and spread. I was meant to uh, get you all to go. Uh, uh, now you heard it. It's taken me. Uh, oh, oh, dear. Uh, dear God. Uh, There's no arguing. It's clear as day. We're cursed. Uh, it's cursed? It's what are you talking about? Powerful forces have taken on this town. It ain't oh, spirits. Yes. It's a mining company. No, it is spirits. Spirits taken through a mining company. Brothers and sisters, we got some praying to do. Yes. Don't pray. Do something. You'll die. Or you worse. Just go. It's our curse. It's ours to deal with. Now the medicine man left some money there. Just take it if you want it. Well, that's the end of that. What a bunch of idiots. How could they not listen to Arthur? He already investigated, but man. Honestly, though, people butchers creep. So it turns out the shaman was actually someone who works for the mining company of Ronald Ridge for some reason. You know that place does not exist, but... Let's go ahead and read the letter. There's something right here and some money, too. So yeah, basically the Sherman was trying to fool these guys so they could mine it in their little town. And let's grab their money too, so... $25? So 
So we get paid fifty dollars. So that's pretty much our reward for wasting our time with this. So, so yeah, these people are insane. So just leave them the way they are. So, anyways. So, anyways, let's go ahead and go do another stranger mission. All right, then. So here we are at Willard's Rest, and we're about to meet with Charlotte again. So let's see how she's doing after we first helped her out. We hear guns. I hope she's shooting at somebody. <laughs> oh, hey there. How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. And how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> but the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus. Breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Whew. Here, I'll show you. Okay, calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. Can we use our Lancaster? We should use the Lancaster. I think the pistol's not similar, so... Shoot a single bottle. There you go. You make it look so easy. All right, you try now. Remember to breathe. Wait to breathe out. Wait to breathe out. Yeah, Charlotte's practicing how to shoot. <laughs> Would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. All right, let's take out the Lancaster. Shoot three bottles. All right, so here we go. Oh no, that wretched guy is back. Over there, you see? <laughs> and it, there you go. Show off. <laughs> All right, let me try again. Come on, come on. Oh, she got one. What can I say? Thank you. I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. Yeah, might as well. I killed that rat though, man. That was impressive. <laughs> Show off. Charlotte's one of the most heartwarming characters in the game. Her and Hamish. Here we go. Let's get inside. So now what? Follow the widow home. We are in home. Go ahead and take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Let's sit down. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it after all. <clears throat> Bon appetit. Yeah. Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Oh, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. It was just so many people, so many things. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. 
My father was very overbearing. Then we came out here and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <coughs> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. <coughs> Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> <coughs> Thank you for this. I think it's it's best if I if I make. Stay right there. It's it's gonna be okay. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. So it turns out Arsha had a uh, a um he had a tuberculosis attack, so he wasn't able to to breathe or anything like that. So Charlotte wrote a letter and she gave us some money. So it's very generous of her. She did not have to do that. So um there you go. Charlotte's doing great for herself now. So other than that, um I actually glad I did this mission because when I first played this mission, I regret not doing it because it never spawned for me and. <laughs> When I when I came back as John to check on her, she was dead. So keep her on this mission, guys. You'll regret it if you don't complete this mission. So, anyways, let's go see Charles. All right, then. So here we are in um, Wapiti. We're about to talk to Charles. I think I may know what this mission is. So let's talk to Charles. Arthur. Hello, Charles. Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's, uh, he, he's very... Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, that's why I came. He's in his tent. Sure. I'll wait for you here. All right, then let's talk to Rainfalls. Rainsfall, I said Rainfalls. It sounds the same in the... How are you doing? Hello? Come in. Mr. Morgan, I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. He's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's me. How is your father? He's dead a long time. He lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? People who have lied to my people for... A hundred years or more, that's treason. Well. What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favor. No. And any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more... Complex than he understands. Well, 
Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes. Yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. So from the looks of it, we're about to rescue Eagle Flies. I think I remember this mission. Any more dialogue? Charles been quiet. All right, here we go. I guess they're gonna start talking right now. So, I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start making a lot of noise, he'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes down river in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <coughs> so yeah, um, Eagle Flies is you capturing know, Fort Wallace. This wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. It ain't just on Dutch. We all went along with it. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He's not helping that tribe. He's helping himself. You see that? Or you wouldn't have gone to Rain's fall behind his back. I guess I just keep thinking. There must be a way to save the situation. To pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Well, I like Rain's fall. I don't know, Arthur. Rain's fall is in a tough situation. And as for Dutch... <sighs> I gotta try. I own that, at least. So yeah, Dutch is taking advantage of Eagle Flies. There's rain no. The wind. I know. Oh no. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but I saw a doctor. It's pretty bad. It's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Yeah, so. Any day we can die. Hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. Oh, yeah, so we're gonna use our bow and arrow. Make sure we get our hatchets ready. Actually, let's get the. Uh, yeah, let's get our hatchet ready. And for a backup weapon, we're gonna use the Lancaster. You were lucky. Sure don't feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all of them, they didn't. And what about the Calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? A more vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Yep. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. Either way, just keep your head strong. We're close now. So yeah, um, Charles mentioned the, all the other gang members that day. My bad, Charles. We need to stay together, Arthur. Let's go. So you were saying? I think so. That current's strong. Up here, follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Mm hmm. Yeah. But might help us with sneaking in there. The rain's fall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken, elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This isn't gonna be nice. There it is. Follow Charles. Okay, so here we are. Fort Wallace. Alright. You should be fine. Let's get a 
guess I'll head and wait till it gets dark. Over here. I guess this is it. I guess it is. Let's keep quiet. I'm trying to find a way in. Main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? So here we go. We're about to sneak in four walls. If I remember this mission, I... hopefully we'll be in and out before they can come back around. So yeah, if I remember correctly, I used to fail this mission. Let's see how many attempts will take me to beat this mission, and we'll try to edit this video out in case it takes more than two attempts. If you take one, I'll take the other. Nice and quiet. All right, here we go. Let's take out the guard. Let's grab the bow. Nice. Let's make our way around the back. Stick to the wall. Careful. There's a guard up there. All right, slowly does it. No, he didn't see us. We're good. Dang, this is gonna be a tense this is gonna be a tense quiet mission right now. Stop, wait. Shh, wait. Two more. One in the tower, one on the ground. Same as before. You take one, I got the other. Uh, let's take out that uh let's take out this guy. Got him. I thought I missed that first, but I guess I got a nice shot under it. Can I get my arrows back? I think I already got my arrows, I think. Yeah, there you go. This is the spot. No, I see him. Oh, uh, let's send Charles to risky. Sure. Okay, let's move. All right, let's follow him. I grab my tomahawk just in case. I guess so. I'll, I'll take the lead. I've got this one. And you got this one? No need to waste an arrow on him. Use your knife. Got him. Get there, brought the hatchet. Another two ahead. One each. Same as before. Fair enough. Let's do it. Good. We're doing pretty good right now. If I did so bad, why did I think it's because I kept missing my shots? That's why I always use dead eye, folks, or aim for the heads. Wait. I'll make sure the tower's clear. Go for it. Come on. We're good. Another one out there. You got him. Yeah, I'll take. I got this one. Oh, let's grab the hatchet before they see us. Stay down. All right. Good. The jail should be just down here. 
So yeah, this 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 is the best performance I do on a stealth mission. Try to put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire. You should have a clear shot from the walkway up there. Climb up the tower. Hurry. Go through the walkway. I guess I'll take a shot. Got him. Suddenly shoot the lantern. I think it's this lantern we gotta shoot. Let me stand up real quick. There you go. All right, let's go. Do it was this part I remember now. But we killed that gu that Charles killed that guard. The body. Already did. Let's open this door. Come on. Your father sent us. My father. He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that. He... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Oh, whoa, no. whoa. I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, it's on now. Let's go. Shit. I don't think we're sneaking out of here. I like this song right now. It's intense on, right now. It's clear right now. Shit. More of them. More of them. Let's get some headshots, folks. There you go. Watch out, there's some of the towers. I'm on it. A... Headshot, let's go. This is uh, how fun this mission, this part was. You're dead. All right, here we go. Let's take care of this guy. All right, let's go. Don't worry, I got it. Let's put a stick of dynamite. You know what? Let's back up. Back up. What about that cannon? Okay. Smart. It saves me dynamite anyway, so let's go. Let's let's get on this cannon. Come on. Let's use this thing. Let's rotate. Wait. There you go. A steady aim. Fire. <laughs> it worked. Come on. And there's our horses. Let's get out of here. Go ahead, girl. Come on. Get on. I got you. More of them. Let's go. Quick. Let's get out of here. 
here. Perfect. Charles is one of the best mem uh, people in the game. Like, he knows what he's doing. Let's take him out. Headshots are on point right now. My headshots are spot on. I'm doing great right now. I think we're in the clear right now. The canoes are close. Where are they? I don't see them. We have to get rid of them, Arthur. You deal with them. I'll get the boats ready. All right, got it. I'll take care of that. Come on. Get in here. Got him. This should be the last one, I believe. Let's get out of here. Damn it. Let's go. In the canoe. Let's get down river as quick as we can. They'll pay for this. They'll wish they killed me when they had a chance. Let's just get you to safety first, my friend. It's like Dutch said. They only have power if you allow them. This is some swell. Watch yourself. Whoa. Let's use my gun real quick. Let's pick them off. We gotta get rid of these these army dudes. And yeah, she can shoot while riding a canoe. Got him. Riding a canoe and shooting. We need to do this in Red Dead Online. I'm fine. Give me a gun. I can help. Just keep your head down. You On the left, the worm. Another headshot. We need to get as far away from the fort as possible. Try to do the best we can. I gotta catch up real quick. Oh my god, this part is fun. Shooting while riding a boat. This is so much fun. If only we could own boats in Red Dead Online. Man, my 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 headshots are so spot on right now. Here we go. Here comes a waterfall. Now it's always clear, Charles. Fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy for your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father. Even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. I'm fine. Let me take you back to your father. Hmm? <laughs> Thank you. No mention. Yeah. The king's son with a bronze. I feel like I did better. Why did why did I did so bad? Okay, well, infantry Fort Wells headshot every soldier blocking your way to eagle flies. Kill fifteen enemies while escaping in the canoe. I, Okay, complete with the 80% this one should you did. Yeah, there's no way I was gonna get a, a gold on this one. So So yeah, it looks like Arthur's resting right now, and I guess we're gonna wrap this up right here. So It looks like our next mission with Dutch right now Let's
looks like we're almost there to the end of the chapter already, so... I guess we're going to wrap it up right here, folks. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give a... a <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give a thumbs up. You hear my subscribe. This is Red Dead Redemption 2 Story Mode Part 46. I'm um, rescuing Eagle Fly. So as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And welcome to the DH Network. This is your partner speaking. Signing out.